Okay, so welcome to today. Today's Sunday. It's been a complete catch-up organization day. Let's start from the top. Probably about the second and a half week in November, I'm going to say I left to San Diego, I think the 21st of November. Since about the 18th until now, the 12th of January, it's been busy as hell, uh, which I like because it makes time go by faster. It gives me something to do but uh, I don't like because I can't get into my normal routine and, and have the productivity levels that I like. So um, let's see, we went to San Diego, standby flights, that's stressful, November 21st until December the 3rd. I came back, I had five days to wrap up an entire semester at Kent and take exams. Miraculously, I did that. Then I decorated three full houses in and out for Christmas. Then we had Christmas, my dad came, Luke came, not for Christmas, but Luke was here. Then I had to disassemble Christmas. And all of this stuff happened with the 540 too. Um, so I disassembled Christmas, three houses inside and out. Had New Year's, the next day after New Year's, went to Georgia for a week, which was a really interesting experience. It was fun, we all had a good time, I think. Georgia, not for me. Razvan and Kenan seemed to love it. You know, I had a good time and everything, but it's just not, not for me. You know, San Diego's my style. Georgia is not like that. I'm um, glad I went though. I like traveling, like seeing new places. That's just not my kind of place. Regardless, it was fun. So now we're back. The semester starts tomorrow. I haven't been to Kent State for what feels like three months. I've been to about 10 different states in those three months or in, in the month that I've had off for winter break. But anyways, the spring semester starts tomorrow. Uh, so I got to do that. I have a pretty tight class schedule, which is nice. I'm not going to have hours of free time like I did last time. Um, last night with the 540, I would have told you more, but I was feeling like crap. I feel totally fine now. Colt came over and uh, you know his airbags and all that stuff happened. The uh, A-pillar side curtain airbags right here. So uh, we went and set ahead to disassemble. Well, he actually received in the mail, that box over there, new airbags, the door airbags, both front doors and the uh, A-pillar side curtains. And he got new rear seat belts too, which he needed. So, you know, we took all the trim off and took about two hours and pulled the dashboard upper and lower out of the car. That's the fourth time he's done it on that car and the fifth time in general, because we did the M5 once for the blower motor. Um, got everything apart, the side curtain airbag plugs in about six inches below my hand. That's why you have to take the dash off. It screws in like down here, pain in the ass. Um, but we got the old one out and noticed that the connector on the old one looks nothing like the connector on the new one. The one that he got is off of a 2000 M5. No, not this one, but another one. His car is a 2001 540. So apparently they update, they facelifted the freaking airbags. So he had to go online last night and order the right ones. We half-assed the interior, we slid the dash back in, put like two screws in so it doesn't fly off if he steps on the gas. And here's the rest of the parts of his interior. He's got everything in here. There's the Titan trim and airbags and stuff. So that sucked. That really sucked. But, uh, oh, we did put his cluster back in. Put two screws in that so it still works. Anyways, he ordered those airbags. They should ship Monday. I bet they'll be here Wednesday or Thursday. So then we have to replace those airbags, drop the headliner an inch, put those airbags in, then reassemble the entire interior. The door airbags will go in when he gets new door panels. They're not built to be reused after airbags go off. Then the back seat, there's no back seat in this car. That can go back together once the, um, the speaker's replaced. He ordered one, didn't order the right one. It's a four ohm speaker from the hi-fi system. His car has DSP, it's an eight, eight ohm speaker and we can't swap them. They're glued into the house and we'd ruin it. So he's got to order that too. It's a pain in the ass and the, and the car, is, it, he's got a lot of work to do, but it's, it's coming, I guess. It's just really frustrating. So that's what's been going on with me. Sorry for the really long clip. Hope you guys like cars because I'm not done yet. I made a Turner order a couple of weeks ago. It still hasn't arrived. I ordered 35 parts for this car. Mostly really dumb little things. Here, there's a screw that is removed when you're taking the lower dashboard off, or the upper for that matter. It has a little cover made of the same material as this that goes over it so you don't see the screw. It's missing. It's never been there. So I ordered one of those. It was a dollar. I'm missing two airbox lid clips. Never been able to find them. I found them. Ordered two of those. This bezel that goes around the speedometer cluster. It's got a couple scratches in it. It's not good enough. I ordered one of those, it's cheap. 
If you guys already saw that, that was not really included in that list, but there it is. I also ordered the little dummy panel there so it matches the same black. Um, geez, it's going to be a surprise when my parts show up because I can barely even remember half of them. But I ordered a bunch of stupid little things. Oh, a new fan blade, my engine fan. The one that's on there is original plastic. You know, it's probably pretty brittle, and I don't want to take a chance on one of those blades breaking and going through my beautiful hood that I had repainted two years ago. So we ordered a new fan. I'm also going to replace the fan clutch. I'll do that at the same time. I'll order the fan clutch later. Otherwise, I, I have a PDF of like 20 things that I, that I bought. So a couple things for Colt's car too. Um, what else have I done? Let's keep talking. I put some more tools in the trunk kit here. So it's now completely full of everything that it would have come with. I got lucky with this car. I had 95% of it. There were just a few tools I was missing. So I had to buy the spark plug tool and the spark plug socket. Those were the two things I was missing. Now they're both in place. This is a complete toolkit plus um, third brake light bulbs and TNT and um, a wheel key for my wheel keys, wheel locks. So that's completely full. I just put a fresh quart of oil in there and topped up the oil level in this car. So that's ready to go. If my mom's not back with dinner, by the time I finish yapping to you guys, I'm gonna check my tire pressure because I haven't done that for a while. This car's been sitting, it's been very cold. I should check that out before I start driving this every day again. There's more stuff coming. Oh, M subwoofers, how about that? You saw that before I left to California. I'm replacing my DSP Nokia sub box. They're two four inch subwoofers that live up here under the carpet. Replacing those with the M Audio 10 inch subwoofers, which will be fun because I've got to tap into the wires here. It's this wiring harness that feeds its way up and then plugs in on the left side of the box. And then I got to take the rear deck out again. That'll be the second time I've done this on this car, which involves removing the back seat yet again and the seat belts and all of this fun stuff, headrests to get the rear deck out so I can install the subwoofers from above, which is what I've been doing today for about three hours. I totally took them apart. Uh, I took the housing off of the actual speaker here and uh, cleaned all the existing glue out of it. And then I had to put this, it's actually door, door weather stripping that I put on there and that will insulate it against the top of the car really well. So it came with wiring harnesses here and here. This will be what I'm cutting. They're dual voice channels, so there's two sets of two wires per speaker. Uh, so that'll be nice. These things are really heavy too. That's probably at least 20 pounds. High quality. That'll be going in once I get that stupid owner from Turner. Turner, which will have the three countersunk screws for each speaker. So that's what I'm doing. Nothing but car work, but it's exciting. Next weekend, we have something fun going on. The pizza's here, so I'm gonna go eat. Stay tuned, hit school back up this week, and then next weekend, it'll be fun again. All right, I'm gonna eat dinner. Welcome back. It's almost 12 o'clock. Today's been um, super productive. I've gotten a lot of stuff done, actually. I got the whole office cleaned out, organized downstairs, you know, all the stuff that I've been trying to do for a while. Just looked at my schedule. Looks like uh, Mondays and Wednesdays are gonna be my slightly longer days. I have a class from 11 to 12.15, a 12.30 to 1.45, and a 2.15 to 3.30. So I have a 15 minute break, then a half hour break. That's perfect, get some lunch, walk around. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays are a little shorter, 11 to 12.15, and then 12.30 to 1.45, and I'm done. There's one online class that I'm not including in that that I'll do. Pretty sure it's the cool kind of class where the end of the week comes around, if your stuff's done, you're good. If it's not done, you know, get it done. Um, so it can be done whenever, which is nice. Right now I'm looking for my keys and I'll show you what I did. I don't really know where I put them. Oh, you know, I put them away. I'll grab my scare, spare. I don't have a scare key or crow, I have a spare. Um, about five hours I spent out here. I thought it was gonna be cold. Put my jacket on, put two pairs of socks on. I got out there 20 minutes, I'm peeling the jacket off. I don't know, I guess I get hot working. Shed some light on the situation, the floor is freezing. Uh, I wasn't gonna do this job today. In fact, I wasn't gonna do it for a while because I didn't have the screws. Well, I went fishing in the basement. I found some screws that worked perfectly. They were even the right size. There they are, M Audio subwoofers. Installed about nine and a half tenths how they should be. I had to drill the holes myself, so I'm sure placement isn't perfect. 
Uh, I was hoping that the holes would already be pre-drilled in this car. Nope, of course not. That'd be too easy. Pulled the Nokia deck out. It looks weird without carpet up there. But uh, looks like they're sitting pretty level and I think they're straight and everything. There's the connector. That goes back there. Everything's behind the carpet and tucked away and they work just as they should. Probably about 30, <clears throat> 30 to 50% more base, 40 to 60, I think I said in the video, than what I had before. And it's, I don't want it to like rattle the car like these Kia Souls and their 48 inch sub in the back. So it's pretty perfect for what I wanted. It's just a stronger, snappier base that just sounds more well-rounded through all frequencies. So that's nice. The install wasn't too bad. I did in the 39 source video. I'll be putting that up in the next couple days. And then of course those Turner orders that I talked for like 20 minutes about, those will be more videos. But I'm gonna go upstairs, take a shower, get ready for the week. I got a bunch of stuff, you know, school obviously. And then I have to get a haircut. I have to pick a part up from Dave Walter. I have to ship some stuff. And I have to finish a little bit of stuff for my grandmother regarding Christmas. And there was something else too. I don't know, haircut, if I didn't mention that. So I'm gonna get back to work and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on the way into camp. I'm, I did not miss that drive, but I have to do it. So talk to you tomorrow.